Destiny and I'm 11 years old and we love Blue Apron because we can cook together and we love it very much and it's very easy. Tonight's dinner is adapted from the winning dish seen in Bravo's Top Chef season 14 finale. The original recipe was created by this season's winner, Brooke Williamson. Executive chef and co-owner of Hudson House Playa Provision, the Triple and De Cavico in Los Angeles. Our take features red onion two ways roasted for a deliciously tender side and caramelized or a sweet addition to black beans. The centerpiece of roasted pork gets mild heat and fruity tang from Guelio chili powder. Many thanks to Bravo's top chef and Brooke Williamson for the chance to share this incredible dish. And this is my grandma, Karen DeBoard, and my grandpa, Jack Phillips. We're, we're the assistants. <laughs> okay, so what, tell us about this. So you guys sent us knickknacks, and we have apple cider vinegar, roast pork honey, light brown sugar, Creekside creamery, That's butter, butter, right? mm -hmm. butter, and... And That's the roast, roast pork spice blend. Yep. Yeah. Which, so the knickknacks come in these cute little bags. And so we've already pulled our knickknacks out, so we'll just toss the bag away. And so the first thing it says, Destiny, is to preheat the oven. Can you do that? To what? 475. Here is our red onion, but we have gone ahead and done as the recipe says and chopped part of it and quartered part of it. So we're just gonna set that aside. Okay, sweetie, what does it say to do next? Um, we did the onion and I've chopped the garlic. So we got that Drain ready. and rinse the beans. There you so. go. Let's get a colander. Let's get a can. Oh. Have they already opened? Yeah, I opened it. Here, so do it over that and rinse so it. So we're gonna drain it in a colander. you to start cooking the meat. Okay. We're going to brown it on both sides according to this. Heat that oil. Okay. Yep. Where, is, where is the meat? It's right here on the cutting board. We've already put the spice blend on it. Maybe you want to show the camera that um, spice blend. Just right there. Okay. So this is the meat with the spice blend. And so give it to Jack. And we had to prepare a foil lined pan. So I've already done that. And then I think when that meat's done, you're going to put it on the pan. So let's see what we do while he's roasting the meat. Okay, so this. We've already done these. So we're on step three. He's searing the pork. That's step two. Do you want some tongs? Yeah. Um, place the sliced onion in a medium bowl. Drizzle with olive oil. So drizzle the sliced onion. Okay, so we have sliced onions here and we're just gonna lightly drizzle it with olive oil. Which we actually we might need a bigger bowl because yeah, it's gonna, gonna run over. So I'm just gonna pour it in the cap because it's easier. There you go. And that's the easiest way to do it. Right? Yeah. And it shows in the picture, and according to this, this, we're going to transfer it to this. No, it, okay, salt and pepper. Season with salt and pepper. So, so, Jack, could you get the salt and pepper for us? So, season with salt and pepper to taste. And the salt and pepper Blue Apron doesn't send to us. Neither do they send the olive oil, but that's okay because we keep that on hand. And so, it's very nice that you guys sent an egg. <laughs> For some of the recipes, they send one egg, which is interesting. Yeah. So, and then put it, just put it in here. Mm -hmm. It says to transfer it to the prepared sheet. And so the pork's going to go on one side and the onions on this side. So we're just going to... 
Watch the picture. Put the onions on the pan. Okay. Okay, so then we're going to, after he does the meat, we're going to have to put this in the oven and turn off the camera for 20 to 22 minutes until the pork is done. Yeah, we'll have to do part one and part two. And then we'll transfer it to a... Okay, we rinse the beans. So we're going to get a bowl and we're going to transfer the, the beans to the bowl. roast. Okay, so we have to go ahead and put the onions in. I'll take that. Um, and this is going to be spiced rubbed pork. Sounds really good. Yeah. Alright, so put that to the side. Alright, so we need to do something with these onions. <coughs> the pork and onion roast in a small pot. Heat the butter. You got the butter there? Yes. And you guys butter. On medium high in a small pot. So, so we're gonna take the butter out. We're gonna do this small pot, and we'll put the butter in there. Add the diced onion. Once that melts, add the diced onion. So, Jack, you're just doing three to five minutes, and then you're gonna put it on this foil, and then we're gonna cook it in the oven. For on what? That's the oven you preheated to 475. No, for the butter. Oh, the butter just, yeah, just on warm milk until it melts, and then you're going to add these onions. Okay, so we just added the butter to a medium pot and set it on medium high, and then once that is melted, we're going to add these finely chopped onions. And to caramelize it, you're going to use this brown sugar they sent in that cute little yes. pack. And half a cup of water. So if you want to go ahead and measure so out half, half a cup of water. Of water. Alright, I'm going to put, this, put the meat on the uh, foil. On the board. The side that I need. Nice, Ooh, nicely it. browned pork. I'm having a hard time picking it up. Lovely. Keep the fronds. It Ow. says don't wash that pot. Okay. That's so what the fronds. Do we put this? Oh, I think it goes back to the butter. Let's check. <coughs> that is some strong spice. I yeah. think it got up my nose. It always says on these recipes to sh save the prawns. That's the goo in the bottom of the pan. Which is a really good tip. Goo is a really important technical term. So we're measuring out a half cup of water and we're going to put it in what? In over here with the butter. So, we're going to so in with the butter. And let it melt. Don't pour it in quite yet. And get your brown sugar open. So we're going to get the brown sugar open. And that. I love their little bags. So we put it in there with the butter? Yep, and I'll put the onion in first. Right now? Mm hmm So now we're just going to add the chopped onions to the butter. To the sizzling hot butter. Go ahead. Okay. And then you can add uh -oh. your brown sugar and your water. So once that is okay. So once we're done adding that, we're gonna add half cup water, which we have, and then the brown sugar. Right? Brown sugar. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're gonna add the garlic to these prawns. So, so we're okay. adding the garlic to the goo that was left over from the chicken, known as the prawn. You mean the pork? Yeah, pork. Yeah, pork. What did I say? Chicken. chicken. <laughs> okay, so cook. Let's see. While the onion caramelizes, oh. heat the pan of reserved prawn on a medium hot. So we'll just. So we're this. gonna set this on a medium hot. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so you're done with this. Next, if we cook the beans. So we're, we're going to...
to <coughs> stir occasionally 11 to 13 minutes to the butter, brown sugar, half cup of water. So 11 to 13 It's always minutes. important to turn that oven on first time you enter the kitchen. Otherwise, it takes, it takes too long for it to preheat. It's only up to 255. <coughs> so we may have to pause this video as we have the rest of the things cooking and then come back to it with the finished dish. Okay. Mm -hmm. Welcome back. So our butter has been caramelized and our beans have been our fragrance. And now we're going to take this over here and we are going to add our apple cider vinegar. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna add all of it, and you save your little cups. We're gonna add the honey, and the honey is like hard to get out. You have to cut it. a little bit crystallized but that's okay honey always just as soon as heat is applied it just melts right up Welcome out. <clears throat> is that good if it's all out no. squeeze it like toothpaste <laughs> good job okay nice. and then lastly we're gonna add the half cup one third cup I don't think it calls for half. Did we just put a third in? Yes. Okay. Add just a little bit more water from the spigot and then I'm just a little, a little bit too much. Okay. And put that in. There we go. See if you make a mistake. You always improvise. Okay. Put that back on the eye. Now we're going to <coughs> stir it. And our oven has just been preheated. I'm going to put this back on the oven. We are going to put that in the oven. It's not hot, so you probably don't need a hot pad yet. All part of the learning process, but that's okay. It's just for safety. Oh, very bright light in the oven. Two minutes, I believe. Twenty-two minutes, and then we will rejoin you when it's done. Turn around, look at no, the camera. Push, push start again. The same push one you started start. with. That one. Okay. And we will rejoin you when we are plating. We are back, and um, right now we have the beans and the caramelized butter, onions, onions, and we're going to just transfer this into here. You can use your spatula if you want to spray the beans. beans. And here's the important microphone that was sent with this recording kit. <laughs> so, <clears throat> and again, the... we are making spice rubbed pork with sweet red onion and black beans. So, and then it says we're going to add a fourth of the cilantro to the beans and the caramelized onion. So then we're going to stir that up. So, so we only have 12 more minutes till the pork is done. And we're just going to add it, add the, we're just going to put the beans and the caramelized onions onto the burner. And we will be back with you to the final product. So I just took out the meat and the onions out of the oven. Onions pretty hot. Now, I'm going to transfer the meat, the pork, to here. Just like that. We always like it to look like the picture, and so we check the picture. We have our plates prepared, and the picture looks like this. The beans are on the stove, Dustin. If you want to turn around and get the beans off of the stove, they've been over there warm. And <clears throat> to plate it, 
Basically, the directions say divide the finished beans between the dishes, top with sliced pork, roasted onions, and a drizzle of olive oil, garlic, so we have, garnish with the remaining cilantro. We bought the <clears throat> dinner for two, but we're sharing it for three because it's plenty. Right, Grandma? Mm hmm. So we're just going to put it into the oven. So. We just um, decided to let you guys know that we love your nutrition facts on there are like 29 grams of fat. I can't imagine where the fat comes from in this meal. It just doesn't seem fatty. There is no saturated fat. It's just fat from the meat and the beans, but it's still very nutritious. And there's only 23 grams of sugar, 20, 57 grams of protein, 12 grams of dietary fiber, 620 grams of sodium. Excuse me for reaching across you, but as we plate the meat. And also, there is 700 calories as packaged and 730 calories as prepared. And oh. so, what she's doing now is she's just topping it off with some cilantro. And it looks wonderful. Okay, so and to and to go with it, we have some drinks. We have water, wine, anything else that people will like to drink with their meal from our guest blue apron. Okay, so from Destiny and Grandma Karen, thank you for this recipe of spice rubbed pork with sweet red onion and black beans, and we're gonna enjoy it. So bon appetit! Thank you.